Grand Prix Insights is presented by Allianz. Hi, I'm Nico Rosberg, race driver for AT&T Williams. Today, myself and Christian Danner are going to introduce you to the Monaco Street Circuit. So Monaco is actually my, my home race, it's where I've grown up. And, um, and also the track, I think it's, it's really fascinating. Because we're not, it's not a normal thing, you know, to drive with the F1 car through the streets where the walls are like three centimeters on F1 one side so. and then three centimeters again on the outside. And, and just absolutely flat out. And, and it's really a, a, a special experience to go up and down into the tunnel and all these different kinds of corners. It's really, it's really great. I always found it quite hard to find the right rhythm. I mean, the right mixture between being really aggressive and still being smooth, not to hit the wall. Well, that's probably the most important thing for a driver throughout the whole race weekend. It's all about uh, risk management. Um, because on the one side, you need to really build it up step by step, yep. go faster and faster and faster. But on the other hand, you can never go over the limits because if you go over the limits, your weekend is more or less finished. Have you, have you experienced that? Um, possibly, yes. Yeah. <laughs> but let's not go into that. Okay. <laughs> um, and so, you know, if you hit the wall, your weekend is finished. You destroy the car, even if it's not in the race, but before that, in practice or something, it's going to be very difficult for you to catch up again. So it's really important for you to judge that properly and, and really steadily build up the pace. How is it in traffic? I mean, it's obviously very tricky to overtake because it's very narrow there. Yeah, Monaco is a track where it's, it's nearly impossible to overtake because the, the straights are very short, so you don't have time to really suck yourself uh, into the, or up to the car that's in front of you yeah. to then get be into a position to overtake. Um, so you just have to hope for an error from the person in front. So you push the other guy into an error? That's the way to go, yeah. You need to be flat out behind, be as close as possible, so the guy in front really feels the pressure, and you can just hope for him to make a mistake. And you can feel the exhaust tubes. Definitely. So in general, it's a race that I really look forward to every year. Okay. Grand Prix Insights was presented by Allianz.